constituency association for many years. Well, uh, yes, I'm, 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 I'm not a politician. I'm, I'm some of those people who work behind the scenes at a local level, even though doing what one can to serve one's party. Mm -hmm. You're an envelope licker. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I, I, I meant you, you do those little things that keep a political party yes. uh, running, running smooth. Yes, I, I just organise, you know, the, the, the usual things like uh, the, the, the wine and cheese party and the coffee mornings and the brandy afternoons and uh, <laughs> things of that kind. Yes, it's been a difficult couple of years at grassroots level, hasn't it? I mean, the party's been slipping in the polls. Yes, well, our constituency, I'm glad to say, is, is, is a, uh, has a very large conservative majority and the supporters stood up pretty well. <laughs> Partly due to your hard work. Yes, we work very hard. Yes. <laughs> Good. And now the, the poll situation is, is improving, isn't it? Apparently, yes, it is. Yes, yes. yes. And, the, and the outlook is, is less gloomy. Appa apparently so, yes, yes. Yes. So you must be very, very pleased with the leadership strategy in the run-up to the election. Well, no, I'm absolutely <laughs> bloody furious, actually. <laughs> Could you possibly tell me? The, the essence of it is that last weekend I went to stay uh, with my sister in, in Worcester, and uh, uh, with, with uh, her husband, um, they live in, in West Midlands, in Worcester. And, and um, uh, to cut a long story short, um, while, while I was there on the Saturday morning, a letter came through the, the letterbox, and uh, uh, he opened it, the husband, and said, um, um, look, there's a letter from John Major. So I said, well, really? I was very surprised, you know, nothing to do with the Conservative Party. That, that. <laughs> um, but there it was, he said, um, uh, uh, from the Right Honourable John Major, MP, Prime Minister and Leader of the Conservative Party, dear Mr and Mrs Hodgkinson, um, uh, I'd like to take a few moments of your time to set out my message direct to you about our country. And then a couple of pages about income tax. Yours sincerely, John Major. This is absolutely extraordinary. So I... I, I when I got back south, down at home, I said to my wife, have we had a letter from John Major? She said, no. <laughs> so I then rang up some friends who were mainly on, on the Conservative Committee in our constituency, you know, and I said, have you had a letter from John Major? She said, no, not that they hadn't. Not that they hadn't had a letter from John Major. But, but, but surely the point is that this letter was, was meant only to be targeted at uh, voters who hadn't made up their minds in, in marginal seats. Yes, so I understand. I think it's absolutely... Bloody outrageous. <laughs> Surely it's a very but sophisticated piece of electoral marketing. I mean, you must approve of that, I, don't you? I, I bloody well do not. <laughs> Look at it from my point of view. Here am I. Here am I, a loyal, a loyal Tory uh, a party worker, uh, uh, who in a, a loyal constituency, which has sent the Conservative MP up to Westminster for every election since the year dot. And, and we don't hear anything from, from, from our Prime Minister, whereas my brother-in-law, who couldn't decide which shoelace to tie first, let alone which <laughs> part of my vote for, gets a grovelling letter from the Prime Minister saying, Dear Miss Hodgkinson, please would you spare a few moments of your very extremely valuable time uh, to, uh, to read this, this, this pathetic ass licking appeal for your vote. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, the Prime Minister couldn't have uh, uh, written to everyone. I mean, this, this operation has already cost the party £650,000, doesn't well, it? That, that makes uh, it worse. Where do you think that money comes from? It comes, comes from, from, from people like me organising cheese and wine parties in rock-solid conservative seats. Well, we, ha we had a letter for the nerve, the Tory party had a letter, they sent us a letter last week saying, please send us more subscriptions, please organise more wine and cheese parties, because we're very, very broke, because the usual gang of foreign crooks we rely on haven't turned up with the money <laughs> this year. <laughs> And but suddenly, suddenly, they seem to be able to spend six and a half thousand, a hundred thousand pounds right into my brother-in-law. <laughs> it's, it's not just the Tory party, is it? Because, in fact, Tony Blair has said that he's going to write personal letters to the same people. Yes, well, that's exactly what's wrong with this country. The only people our so-called political leaders are interested in are, 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 are brainless nincompoops <laughs> who've got <laughs> no convictions about politics or about anything else. I mean, they're called waverers for God's sake, and yet these are the people who are going to apparently decide the future of our country. <laughs> well, somebody who, who, who's got a mind of his own, who actually believes in something, it's, it's completely ignored. It makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Surely, Mr. Parr, you are exaggerating no. a little. Oh, oh, am I? Am I? Well, I rang 10 down the street and I said, where's my letter from John Major? And they said, who are you? Where do you live? What's your postcode? And they came back two minutes later and they, they said, oh, we don't need to bother with you. We know which way you're going to vote. So fuck off and stop wasting our time. <laughs> That's charming, wasn't it? 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.